Hello, this is Isaac Lundgren. Uh, today, we're going to talk about your fabulous game that you're working on and being able to um, update your Adventure Creator software. It's constantly being updated and changed to give you additional features such as a uh, tint map. Notice my character is uh, getting darker in different sections of the room. Things like that uh, get um, added throughout the years and you want to stay current on your version so you can make sure that you're taking advantage of all of those features. So we're gonna walk you uh, through that today since it's not quite as easy as just clicking update somewhere. It's not as easy as updating an app on your iPhone. So let's walk you through it. The first thing to do would be to log into the Adventure Creator website, go to the forum section, and look in the official news. This is where all of the announcements for updates get posted. However long it's been since you've updated, maybe you've never updated, um, you should go into each of these version announcements and the first thing you should do is read about any um, additions and changes or bug fixes. So these will be listed in here. The most recent one looks like probably this July 3rd one. So you want to read through all of these just so you can be aware of what some of the changes are. Uh, the reason why you need to be aware of these is occasionally a change will be incompatible with um, uh, something that you're doing in your game and you want to make sure to uh, exclude um, any part that may be incompatible. So in the future, when you're starting a project fresh, you just update everything without any worries. On your current project, be cautious during your update so that you're not going to invalidate any of your work. And that's what I'm going to help you with today. Once you've read through the um, current update notes and any update notes that you have missed, um, then open the manual and you can find that on the Adventure Creator website, Education Manual. And check the manual and see if there's even more current notes that uh, Chris Burton has for you in regards to updating. So let me just do a quick search for updating. Updating Adventure Creator. It's currently in section 1.6 of the manual. And you have uh, update notes right in here that you'll want to read. And these may change over the years. I'm just giving you a basic guideline of how to, how to update. Next, and this is very important, you want to back up your project. You always want to be backing up your work in case of uh, any mishaps or missteps that you might do or any power failures or something that could cause your data to become corrupted. But in the case of updating, you want to back up your game before an update in case you do it clumsily and you overwrite something that you didn't want to overwrite, among other reasons. So uh, first thing to do would be to locate your game folder. You'll want to find the Unity folder, find your current project folder, create a new location uh, to put this project folder on a new drive, a backup drive somewhere, and you'll want to copy your whole project folder into your new um, location and this will just be a complete duplicate uh, version of your project. And we'll just leave that there. Once you have backed up your project, open Unity, open your current project within Unity, and we will be opening the Unity Asset Store window. So it's under Window, Asset Store here. It'll op give us a new window here. That's opening up. You'll want to log in if you're not logged in already. You will locate um, the Adventure Creator um, plugin. It knows you've already purchased it. 
and the updates are free. So here you'll notice it says update. Just click on the update. And it's preparing the download. So this isn't um, updating at this point. You're not updating it yet. You're just getting the download ready to go so that you can choose which parts of the update to install um, on your system. And for the most part, you'll choose everything. You'll uncheck a couple of the settings boxes. But for the most part, you'll be able to um, update anything. Unless there is uh, a problem that you run into, then you'll uncheck those types of boxes. Okay, it's preparing it here. Okay, so you get the message that say it's going to override your current project settings. If you're not sure what that means, you should switch to an empty project before importing this package. So that's why I'm here to help you so that you don't overwrite your settings and things like that. So we're just going to click import. This is still not final. You get another window that pops up. And you have all of the files. And this is kind of overwhelming to look at this entire list. So what we'll have to do is just collapse some of the boxes. Let's collapse this uh, 2D demo the regular demo, graphics, prefabs. The first thing to uncheck will be in your resources folder. You'll come down to this references.asset. You can uncheck that. Next, come down to project settings. In project settings, you want to uncheck anything that has to do with the inputs, uh, build settings, and player settings. So I'm unchecking these boxes. Cluster input manager dot asset uncheck. Editor build settings dot asset uncheck. Graphics settings dot asset uncheck. Input manager dot asset uncheck. And project settings dot asset uncheck. For me, I already know that within my game, um, I have changed some of the uh, hotspot prefabs, and that has been um, causing uh, some issues for me. So I need to come into the prefabs folder under logic, and I'm going to uncheck the things that have to do with hotspots. So cuts, uh, cutscene dialogue, there's hotspot mentioned in here. I'm just going to uncheck that. Hotspot, I'm going to uncheck that. I think my triggers are fine. Although, I might have changed a prefab on the triggers too, so I'm going to just uncheck those. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't know if I have those problems or not. That's what the backups are for. So we copied that entire folder. If after this um, import you realize that there's some problems or issues, you just copy the folder back, go through these steps again. Whatever your issues were with, you can uncheck those boxes. If you had problem with hotspots, try unchecking the hotspot boxes, run the import again, and see if that works. And I'm just going to do one last check and make sure. Actually, I might have had an issue with sorting map. I'm going to uncheck that one as well. Okay, I'm going to take one more quick look and make sure I didn't uh, forget anything. Uh, when there is an update, you'll uh, notice that there's a green uh, box on the side and it usually says new. Like the last time I updated, the tint map said new uh, next to it in green. So those things uh, you can leave. You don't have to uncheck those boxes for sure. Okay, I'm going to be brave and click the button. Okay, once that is done, and it looks like it is, the first thing you want to do is not work on your game. You want to test a few scenes to make sure that uh, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, check a variety of things, check hotspots, check triggers, and make sure they're all functioning properly. Okay, so you load up your game. I'm going to check some hotspots, registering a cursor change here, see if we can exit. Okay, we can exit. And coming down here, 
We're going to check some uh, camera movements. I didn't even import the cameras. That won't be a problem. I'm just going to walk around here. Okay. Checking a few things. check this here. This will have a change sorting map command and all of that. I'm going to make sure we're functioning here. We are. Okay. Let's see if change functions look good. These are just basic hotspots in here. Okay, the parallax scrolling is working. Character size seems to be fine. I think we're totally good. Okay. So I can turn off my paranoia and I'm good to work on my game and not um, copy back over my backup. Now, if you do have to copy your backup, let's say you notice some things are a little wonky. Now, you may want to first check the forms, uh, log it into adventurecreator.org. Check the forms and maybe create a post um, in your technical question and answer um, if you have a specific issue that um, you noticed after updating and see if somebody can help you with that. Some common uh, things will be to um, re-import your scene managers. You can come in here to your managers. So go to the uh, root folder you'll find your game managers. If you accidentally overwrote those, you just click this box here, assign managers. That will give you um, uh, your player speed back, anything that you might have changed about your player that gotten overwritten with the demo managers. Uh, mine looks correct. That's something common that gets overwritten. Okay, so after you have re-imported your scene managers, maybe you had an issue, you checked on the forums, um, maybe people aren't able to help you right away and you get a little nervous about it, I recommend coming back to your backups. Quit out of Unity, of course, because you don't want to back up with it open. Copy your uh, file back into Unity. After it copies, reopen Unity and your project. You'll notice that it's back to where it was before the update go through the update process again and this time when the import uh, window pops up you um, look for any of the uh, checkboxes that you might have been having trouble with for example for me my hotspots originally uh, were having some trouble so I unchecked those boxes I did the update again and then I had no future problems with that now if you are starting a project from the very beginning um, and you create a blank project just click the update button, leave all the boxes checked. You'll have the most fresh version of everything and you'll be ready to go. You won't have to worry about all of these um, other things. I hope that your update experience is um, nice and positive. If you need any help with your um, update beyond this video or beyond the manual, check that uh, spot on the forms to post technical questions and there should be uh, many people from the community um, ready and willing to help you out through the process. Hope your game is going well. Happy designing!